Hi, we're here at day two of New York Comic Con, and we have a very special guest with us, artist Camila Derrico, and right here is her booth in the artist alley. So, how are you feeling today? I'm actually doing really well today. Yeah, I'm really great. <laughs> and you've been here since Thursday, right? How was the crowd? Well, yesterday I was really surprised at how many people are here. I've never seen a Thursday that packed, other than like Comic Con San Diego. This is like the second most crowded Thursday that, that happened yesterday. Today is awesome too. And how do you like Comic Con so far? Oh my gosh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, there's the crowd of people here is so, they're just, they're so hungry for all this kind of art style and there's such this great energy. I love it, I think it's great. Now, Camila has a very special uh, style to her art. Can you tell me what the inspiration behind uh, most of your drawings and pieces? Yeah, um, that's actually, it's such a hard question to answer because it's like, why do I like the color blue? I don't know, I just do. <laughs> but um, with, my, with my art, I can actually say that I'm really inspired by nature and um, I love poetry. And um, what, I, what I do is some of my paintings are actually, they're kind of uh, metaphors. So all the pieces, um, like um, all the elements of the painting are actually um, like a, a metaphor about that girl's personality or a sort of a place, an emotional um, statement. So I think, I think that's my, like, my biggest source of inspiration. That and the um, like poetry and also the masters, like Italian um, masters, Raffaello, Da Vinci. I mean, I, I just, so amazing, so. Are, are there any pieces here right now that are your favorites that you would like to show our audience? This is one of my newest pieces. This is called Bubs. Um, and I, I adore this piece because um, I, I think I love the little bubbles. And I love that I use, like, normally I'll have, um, it's like a portrait style. So this was the first time that I really submerged, literally submerged my character into paint. Um, and I just, I love the contrast between like the starkness of her with like these dark like rich colors um, and she actually surprised me when I was painting her because I had this other idea in mind and then I was like um okay obviously that's not the way it's going so I just I just let it kind of um, dictate what it was gonna be on its own and then turned into this and I think it's really cute um, it's one of my favorites so and then I um, also really love Tampopo which is uh, my passion project. It's my graphic novel. So I can show you, it's right here. Just hold on, just hold it. <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so this is Tam Popo, um, and this is my graphic novel. It's gonna be a five um, issue series, and this one, it's about this little girl without emotions, um, and her guide is the Faustian devil. He's super cute, but he's pretty evil. Uh, and what I did with the book is I, I wanted to do something really different than normal comics, which are really, um, like, every part of the page is kind of filled with uh, content. And I didn't want that for this piece, uh, for this, like, book. Um, I wanted the poetry to breathe. So this is what the book is like. And uh, it's all in Old English because um, all the writing is actually from different sources. So uh, this one has Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Strange Stories from a Chinese Studio, and um, Faust. So it's all, it's really, really different um, than any other comic. And I just have so much fun with this because I, I love, I love the combination of the Old English and the manga. So that's, that's what this one's about. It's my favorite. Now, I also noticed that you're, you just came out with a new book. Can you tell us more about it? So this is Pop Manga, and uh, this is my first instructional book. And this one teaches you <clears throat> how to draw, and in my style. And uh, um, what I like about this, and when the publisher approached me about it, is that um, the books that are out now on how to draw manga are done by an artist who doesn't actually draw manga for a living. So 
they approached me and I thought that that was such a great idea of having a professional artist. Like I've been doing this for 13 years. So I have industri like industry experience. And so in the book, I actually have like tips and tricks about how to actually become a professional manga artist, as well as like, you know, what I've learned over the years. And, um, and it shows like, you know, published work that, um, that I cr I've created. And yeah, there's some, there's a bum. Yeah, no worries. She's gonna do a sketch too. Oh, okay. And so uh, the book takes you through like how to do action shots and how to draw chibis and there's even how to draw hippos. So um, I was really excited that this book like turned out so well and and like the quality is stunning. I just it's a re it's a really good book. I'm surprised because um, I, I normally thought that how to draw books weren't that. Um, com I don't know. I just I just didn't, never really gave them that much thought, but with the editor and the publisher we really wanted to do something unique with a how to draw book so and we called it how to draw pop manga because I'm a pop surrealist so kind of went with the with the flow are there any other plans in your future or hope you're hoping to do yeah so uh, well with the release of Tampopo uh, volume 2 next year next spring I'm also doing two shows. I have a show in Tokyo and a show in New York City again um, in 2014. And then I'm releasing uh, a new series of teacups and uh, espresso cups, which are super cool. And then I've got leggings that are out right now. Uh, so I'm always just developing new merchandise as well as like uh, new art books. And um, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just keeping it going. <laughs> awesome.